guys, do it on a dime here. So this is my decor tour for Christmas, which a lot of you guys have been requesting. I did a tour like this last year, which I will link on the screen as well as down below. And I hope that you enjoy this video because these always put me in the spirit of the season. So here is my dining room table and the centerpiece this year is relatively simple, but I like to change it up by the year. So here I just have these little candle holders that I made last year. I used metallic silver spray paint for them and I just wrapped rubber bands around it and then you stick a little candle inside and it just has a really pretty glow. sled I actually got from the Goodwill and it was just a couple of bucks and I just took sprigs from the Dollar Tree and cut them up and since they're wire I was able to use them to wrap it around the sled and then I just set this little bird next to it from Michael's. I like to do something a little bit different with this area each year just so it doesn't get stagnant. Over here I have these metallic nutcrackers and I actually bought these at the dollar store. They were painted really bright red colors and I just removed the beards, all you had to do was rip them off and then I just spray painted them with the same metallic spray paint that I used on the votive holders on my table. This little white candy dish I got from the Goodwill last year and then this little Santa Claus is really cool, it's actually a music box. And these little pillar candlesticks I've had for a long time. That tree behind it is from the Goodwill. So flipping around over here on top of the china cabinet, I just have these vines and those are actually from Goodwill and I just laid the same vines that I have on top of my floating bookshelves on top of there just to give it a little bit more dimension and then there's a cute little snowman in the corner. the mantle turned out this year I think it's so pretty and the snowflakes that you see in the garland they're actually from the dollar store and I'll put a link in the description if you want to see how I hung them from the ceiling last year but this year I was just really really simple and I took our little reindeer guys I got these on clearance from Myers a few years ago and then I just stuck the pretty little snowflakes in the garland um, the little green pine was from the Goodwill actually I think it was just a few dollars and then I took a strand from Michaels like one of those longer garlands and then I just draped it over the top of everything Thing, just to give it a thicker fuller feel and this wreath I got on a Christmas discount it's just got little bells in it as well as almost like hydrangea looking red flowers and that matches with our stockings I got these stockings from Bed Bath & Beyond this is the new one for this year for Carson I believe they are $9.99 but if you use a 20% off coupon then they're just $8 and they're felt and they've got really nice lining on the inside so they're quality stockings that will last for years to come. So my absolute favorite part about the fireplace, you guys, is new this year, and I'm so excited about it. It's down here, but you hit on with the remote control. You gotta sometimes hit it a few times to get all the candles, but it flickers on just like that, almost like there's just a really pretty fire, because we like never light fires, especially with Carson. It's just way too much work and it doesn't really make sense. But this way, it gives the feeling of a really pretty fire. And then I just took some really pretty sparkly, so it would catch the light, little garlands and Christmas trees. I got these for 50% off from the grocery store, but they just sit in here with the candles and they just make everything really, really pretty and sparkly and they were super inexpensive. If you decide to do something like this, the key to everything is really layering, having the three candles in the front and then putting them at different heights. And if you can see right there, I just have a little stand underneath the candle and that stand came from the dollar store. So it just gave varying heights you can see there's a little board that the candles are sitting on and that is just in like the fireplace grate where you'd normally put the logs. That's just a piece of molding that was left over from another craft but you can find that at any hardware store so it still looks nice while it's in the fireplace and it just gives different height to the candles so it has a really pretty ambiance. <laughs> On the 
bookshelf this year. I also have this little angel. I actually got her from the Goodwill. She's just made of metal, the outline of it, and I have some sprigs from the Dollar Tree underneath um, just to give it a festive touch on the top of the bookshelf where we normally keep a plate. We also do have this little nativity set for Carson, which I just love because he loves to play with these and put the little people in his mouth. I always think it's good to have something for your kids that's tangible that you can teach them with just so they can have a part in the holiday season too. Now coming into our living room, I just have a very few Christmas items. The first is on this bookshelf. I just have this little snowman, again with a little vine draped over the top. And then on the center coffee table, I just have this little book. But this just has all of our Christmas cards in scrapbook fashion, so people can sit and look through it. And then over here, I have my little nativity scene. Um, this was a gift, and I absolutely love them. They're little bean people. And then the manger came from the Dollar Tree. That's actually a really good spot to find a crush if you're looking for one. Over here, I have a cute little Santa Claus along with Carson's little photo album. And to give you guys a closer look at the bookshelf, there's the little snowman, and then I have these little jingle bells, which actually came from the dollar store. And then this little vase, which um, I got from the Goodwill, and I just put some candles in it, as well as some decorative balls and pine cones. So here's the piano on the other side of the room, and I kept this super simple this year. And I believe these were a gift to me, but I just love them. I just think they're so sweet. And then over here, I just have another little snowman as well as this Christmas clock. And this is one of those clocks that plays jingle bells or a Christmas tune every hour on the hour. And I didn't like how it originally used to look. It used to be just snowmen and it didn't really fit with the decor of the room. Even though I have a lot of snowmen, it just really wasn't my style. So I just took a piece of scrapbook paper and I cut a slit through it. I took apart the clock, made sure that it was the right size by tracing, and then I just placed that piece of scrapbook paper inside the clock. This would be so cool if you wanted to do something for like, I don't know, you could put a fan family picture in there. You could decorate a clock for any season this way, but it's a really, really fast and inexpensive way to dress up a space and a clock in your home. On the entryway table, I just have these cute little snowmen and some candles. So our Christmas tree is in the den room this year, which is right in the corner. I've actually never set it here before, but I decided to this year. Now what our Christmas tree is not is magazine worthy. I did not purchase a single one of these ornaments. Every single one of these ornaments was a gift to our family or something from a memory of a vacation that we took or something like that. So they're not all matching, they're kind of a hodgepodge and mismatched, but they all have very, very special meaning to our family and that's why they're on the Christmas tree. So I want to show you guys this. This is a super budget family tradition that's really easy to start. Pick a really unique or silly ornament. This one happens to be a strawberry and this gets hidden on the tree on Christmas morning and whoever finds it gets to open the first present that year. So these are just fun quirky traditions that you can start without having to spend a lot of money. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. This always puts me in the spirit of the season. I hope that you guys have a very, very merry and blessed Christmas. Mwah. You got some pretty crazy hair today, Carson. That's pretty crazy there, buddy.